Today we will talk about writing blog posts using AI. The reason why the top bloggers get all the views is simply because they know how to use AI to write their blog posts and how not to use it. With all the crazy AI tools and hacks and SEO tutorials, this is one of the hardest things to do as a beginner blogger. But the good news is that there is an answer. I've analyzed the top bloggers out there that are using AI and they all do the same thing. So in this video, I will break it all down for you. And by the way, my name is Arturi and I have done nearly 10 million reads to my blog post and I'm one of the fastest growing solo bloggers out there right now. So I do this stuff all day long. Let's get started. First, let's talk about using AI automation to write blog posts. I've made 99% of my blogging income from blog posts where I promote products to my audience. That is called affiliate marketing and it is the best way to monetize a blog. And when you do affiliate marketing, pretty much only two things matter. First, you have to be using the products that you promote. And second, you need to showcase yourself using those products in your blog posts by sharing images of yourself using the products. Fail in either one of these and you will never get traffic to your blog and also you will get kicked out of these partner programs. And now the question is, can you do that with AI? The answer is obviously no. AI simply can't test products and it can't take images of itself testing those products. But here's the thing. So not all content is supposed to directly make money. So you have all these how-to guides and other informational pieces of content that are there just to rank on Google and to get your name out there and get some views and whatnot. So how about we use AI to produce those? Well, one thing I have learned during the past four and a half years as a full-time content creator is that if you want to get any views to your blog and if you want to get any traction to your blogging business, you need to write about topics that nobody else has written about before. Every single piece of content you produce needs to add to the internet. You need to find trendy and non-competitive topics to write about. Yes, that is freaking hard. Just an example. I wrote a blog post about AI art generators back in August 2022. That blog post got a whopping 1 million readers in less than half a year. That blog post also made me over $30,000. Why? Well, that is simply because there were so many people searching for those AI art generators, but nobody was providing any answers. So I was literally one of the first people ever to write a blog post about those. So it is all about timing and all about covering a topic as one of the first people ever to do it. That being said, using AI to produce how-to guides and other informational pieces of content is meaningless. You see, the problem here is that the AI is heavily dependent on the information it finds on the internet. But at the same time, you should write about topics where you can't find information on the internet just yet. So AI automation is 100% useless and you can throw it out the window right now. It's not gonna work. So thus far, it seems AI is not much of a use for a blogger. But that's not the case either, because you need to get clever with it. You can definitely find places where you can make your blog posts even better using AI. For instance, one of my absolute favorite ways to use AI as a blogger is to rephrase content pieces where you have poorly explained something or where you're trying to accidentally overcomplicate things. Or for example, if I have a blog post where I list a bunch of tips or for example, those products that I mentioned earlier, one thing I can do is I can tell ChatGPT to create a short table with these products or tips and tricks or whatever it is and to summarize those for a busy reader and then I can add that at the top of the post. And then here is my absolute favorite. So if I write a blog post about something I am very familiar with, I might actually take things for granted that my audience is not aware of. To avoid this and to make my blog post more accessible, I can ask AI to ask me questions that my target audience would have to cover absolutely everything related to that topic. This is how I create those what I call superior outlines to my blog posts, 
where I make sure to leave no stone unturned and where I absolutely make sure to write the best piece of content ever about that topic. By the way, do you see a funny pattern in this? All these AI use cases that I just mentioned are actually just an extra layer of work that I otherwise wouldn't do. So when it comes to using AI as a blogger, it doesn't save your time, but it actually takes a bit more. 